was a time travelers walked from the train to a hotel across the tracks in a town the railroad built. There was nothing here until the railroad put the tracks here in 1836. There was nothing. Roseanne Schauf wrote the book on Ashland's history that included two previous hotels built in 1858, then 1905, both destroyed by fire. I was the first one in the family that, uh, that heard screams of, of fire, fire, fire. Betty Holland and her family were on the third floor when the last and biggest of them burned to the ground in 1946. We went down a ladder that was on the front of the building, as I remember, to the second floor, where we could see flames coming, coming right towards us. Everybody escaped, but the hotel was ashes. Years later, Ray and Carol Martin built another hotel right beside the tracks to look just like its predecessor. Their daughter, Ann Carol, has managed it as a bed and breakfast for 23 years. We uh, rebuilt the Henry Clay Inn uh, to look the same as the old Henry Clay Inn, which broke down in 1946. We spent a lot of time making sure that we had all the appointments and the, uh, the moldings and the high ceilings and the staircase and everything that was reminiscent of the old Inn. But the end is near for the latest Henry Clay Inn and 156 years of history by the side of the tracks. It will be auctioned off this month with the hopes a new owner might find a way to keep it open for people who love small towns, quaint getaways, and the rumble of trains. Charles Fishburne, WCVE News.